No sound. Are we back? Are we back? How does that happen? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Right. Okay. We're back. Okay. Welcome back to Cooking Hayden's and Car Boot, Chris. Um, and as you will see, I. Oh, for fuck's sake. What is Bell doing? Bell's ringing me now for crying out loud. Um, listen, as you'll see, I'm on my own. Uh, Belle is working a late shift today, so I'm sorry, but you're stuck with me. And I'm not very well either. I've spent all night throwing my guts up in the toilet. Um, I don't know what was up, whether I just picked a bug up or something, but um, you're lucky I'm here. But I'm here. I didn't want to let you guys down. So uh, let's get through the show and have a bit of fun. I've got my... Uh, replenishable, what do you call it? You know, when you get all the rehydrating drinks, yeah. So when this is over, I'll be going straight to bed. Anyway, listen, um, we're going to crack on with the show. I'll tell you what's um, coming up in a minute, but we've got to do the hellos. Um, and uh, Bell normally does this bit, but I'm going to have to do it on my own. Uh, let me just find our music, and then we'll get in and say hello. So say hello in the chat if you're there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's see who's live and kicking in the chat. So, uh, who have we got first? Phil's in first. Hi, Phil. We've got Damien. We've got Sharon. We've got Tonks Boutique. We have Santa is in. Welcome from the North Pole. Arms is here. We have said Sharon, um, and there's Armsy again. Um, please only put your name in once. Uh, there's Daisy. Uh, welcome, Daisy. Yorkshire Mix. We've got Helen Craddock. We've got Lindsay and Alvin. Uh, did I say Damien? Chris Tyler. Ems Dennerin. Um, Tam and Bell. Welcome. Mike Calpin. Mike and Francis. Tap Peddler Derek. Uh, did I say Tam and Bell? I can't remember. I'm not well. Yorkshire Mix is here. Um, you know I'm going to repeat everyone's name so many times. Hi Kevin in Florida, welcome. Uh, the Shabmeister, aka Shabba. Um, Bills and Moon. Joanne Noble, welcome. Uh, Limelight Vinty, Johnny Forty Court. Uh, Mrs. Love. 
Uh, we've got Lisa's in UK reseller GT Pre Love and doing well here. Blue Harvest Mart. Um, who else? Come on. Oh, GT's got his popcorn ready after winning the race last week. I'm glad that arrived safe and well. SB reselling Sophie's here, uh, left handed as well. Uh, we've got Jason N. Twistle. I, I don't know if I said Bills and Moon. There they are again. Tommy Lee Jones is in the chat. Tess at Frugal Living. Um, uh, oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Everyone's now saying muted, muted. Can't hear the sound. Alan, there's Alan. Um, uh, there's Brooke. Did I say Brooke? Um, oh, Jason N. Twistle. I'm repeating now. Katie Nason, Nation. Uh, Jack of all trades, welcome. Um, oh, crikey, crikey, crikey. Come on. Del Boy Dan's here. Oh, Rummy Time Lord. Oh, that's it. Sai. JJ Jess, welcome. I didn't do bad there, to be fair. I'm almost at the bottom. Well done for soldiering on. Yeah, no. To be fair, I've been okay today, but I'm just a bit delicate. You know when you've been throwing up all night? I was just a bit delicate today. So I've been drinking these things to try and rehydrate myself because that's what happens when it's coming out both ends and literally, you know, you don't want the details, but it weren't a pretty sight. If I have to leave at any point, you know what's going on. Uh, hi, Kimmy Kitty. Uh, rough. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. You guys need to cheer me up. Um, not the other way around tonight. Uh, first swear word, only 30 seconds. I didn't swear. Did I? What did I say? I don't think I swear. Uh, hi, Steve and Joan as well. See, I'm carrying on with the hellos anyway. We'll do it anyway. Uh, once love treasures. Evening all. Back home again after our three-week American adventure. Lots of thrifting. Oh, excellent. Excellent. I bet three weeks. Oh, that would be good. Imagine how much you could do in three weeks. Betty Bob's here. Monday again. I know these Mondays come round so quick, don't they? Oh. Every, you know what? It come around so quick. Uh, hi, Jason. Uh, Brooke is providing tonight's duck race prize, by the way. So thank you to Brooke. It's a big fluffy duck thing. Um, I think I put it on on YouTube on the community tab. So hopefully you saw it. So um, if you've not entered the race already, you're too late. How many have we got uh, for tonight's duck race? Fifty five in the duck race. Um, hi, Chris. Um, yeah, so uh, a reasonably healthy duck race. We've never hit the 100, though. We've never hit that 100 mark, which would be good to get 100 in the race, wouldn't it? Woo Woo 76, welcome. If any of you have got any comments, questions, or you want to talk about anything in particular, drop a comment in, and uh, I'll see if I can get to it. Um, I'll always try. Jez, Jez Sanders. Uh, yeah. Uh Seeing if there's any more chit chat going on. Guy King, both ends a human sprinkler. Yeah, pretty much that. Exactly that. Um, Lisa says, forgot the duck race, only just entered. Am I too late? Um, I'll have to look at what time you you entered. I'll have a look in a minute. In fact, if anybody's not entered, I'm going to do a one-off, and this will only happen tonight because I'm feeling generous because I don't really... I don't care for the rules tonight because we're here and that's the main thing. So you've, if you're not in the duck race, you've got two minutes, two minutes until I'll close it. So go and make your comment on last week's and then come straight back to this stream. I don't want to lose everybody and not, you know, you're not bugger off and don't come back. You've got two minutes exactly starting now. If you're not in the duck race, get in it. Let's see if we can get 100. And I'll, I'll add all the names in in a minute. Uh, that's probably made a rod for my own back. Uh, but this is only going to happen once. Um, Sarah Sewing shared. Welcome, guys. Uh, dee dee dee. Okay, I think I'm nearly at the bottom of the chit chat already. That's not bad going, is it? Everyone's just saying hi, Peter Ray. Um, and Ian as well. Oh, Phil got his Minnie Mouse. Nice one. Thanks, Phil. I'm glad you liked it. Going off that emoji, I assume you like it. 
Phil's got a big Minnie Mouse collection, if you didn't know. Um, so we saw um, we saw one that I was sharing last week, and uh, we did a nice deal for it. Jason's feeling a bit rough too. My household has come down with this cold that's going round. I hope you feel better soon. Well, you don't want what I had last night, though. I mean, I'll take a cold. I'll take a cold any day. That was not nice. Um, that's not fair. Hey, it's my show. I'll make the rules up. Um, I'm feeling generous tonight. The ones who did it right should get a 15-second head start. I don't think I can actually facilitate that. Uh, Delboy Dan said there's a lot going around and teachers and kids and stuff been poorly. Tap Peddler's had flu and COVID jabs, so he's been rough. Yeah, I've not had a flu jab. Right, I'm at the bottom of the chat, which is good. Um, what have we got first up? Uh... What have we got to talk about? Right, today we've got an ONO to talk about in relation to GSP. Um, we've got a boot sale haul, a bit like last week, another boot sale haul to share. Um, we've got some thank yous to do um, and the duck race and what's coming up on, on the channel this week. <laughs> KD Nation says, I'm convinced eBay buyers are playing games with me. Wow, what's going on, Katie? You need to let us know a bit more information than that. Oh, Joan said there's a sickness bug. There's always a bug going around, isn't there, the Joan? I, I rang my mum this, um, this afternoon. So, oh, mum, I'm poorly. Oh, there's a bug going around. You know, there's always a bug going around, isn't there? This live stream is off to a cracking good start. All it needs now is a spinning 3D cookie in Haven's gold coin. I'm sure you can provide such a thing, Santa. Um, right. Okay. Let's move on. Um, let's move on to um, this. Oh, no. Okay. So, have you guys encountered any issues with GSP the last... I don't know, the last month or so. Because I'm having things going on whereby items are being delivered to the GSP centre and they're not leaving. I've had I've had at least half a dozen items in the last month, and that's really unusual. This doesn't happen. Something gets delivered to GSP and it goes and there's no issue. I've had about six items, just completely random, like... One day, a different day, another day. You know, it's not all in the same shipment. Um, around six in the last month that have arrived at the GSP centre and then failed to leave it. And it's getting really annoying because obviously people open um, cases and then you've got to deal with that and then wait for eBay to resolve it. And yeah, even though it doesn't really affect you, it kind of does affect you. Um and I know as long as as long as it arrives there, that's all that matters. But it's still hassle. You've still got to um, deal with cases when they come in. And then you've got to say, oh, eBay, can you step in and sort this out for the customer? And it stays open for ages. I've had like four or five cases open for like two weeks while eBay decide if they're going to refund customers. I don't know what's going on with the GSP, but I'm, I'm getting issues um, with it. Um, one such example was um and this was a while back but i had a um south park plush that i sold and i sent it via gsp and uh, this is back in september and uh, it arrived at the gsp center and then that was it we didn't hear from it again and after one two weeks or whatever ebay closed the case and they refunded the buyer and obviously, I kept the money because it arrived at GSP. Um, but this weekend, this weekend, it started tracking again. And it's now going across to the US. So it spent about two months in the corner of the GSP center somewhere. Um, inexplicably. I mean, where's it been for this long? So let me know in the comments. Um 
let me know in the comments if you're having any issues with GSP at the moment. It's it's rare, to be fair. It just doesn't happen. I mean, stuff gets lost in transit, but very rarely does it arrive at the centre and never leave. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, once Love said we managed to pick up a couple of amazing tiki mugs at Frankie's um, tiki room in Vegas. Oh, did you did you meet up with Jason? By the way, guys, did you meet up with Jason? He'd have he'd have definitely met you and uh, taken you into um, Frankie's. Uh, you rang your mum, mummy. I'm not well. Do I have to work today? <laughs> yeah. The thing is about that is right. We're self employed. We run our own businesses and. Work doesn't stop. Um, so this morning, I had about 30 parcels to deal with. So I did that. Bella, Belle kindly um, delivered them for me at the every shop drop-off point. Um, so I didn't have to go out in the car, which I don't know if I could have done this morning. I was knackered after dealing with all those parcels. Um, but then after that, I, dis I decided um, I would just end a load of listings and do a relist throughout the day. And also, I, I dropped the price on a load of listings as well, so that they, there was activity on the on the account. Um, so that's been my work for today. I've not done any new listings today, um, but the parcels don't stop. You know, you know, I had to get them done this morning, even though I was rough as a bear's ass. <laughs> get the model kit I sent you. It'll cheer you up, Joanne. You said you were sending me that. Don't be telling me that now that you're not sending it me. Um, mm, mm, mm. let's get down the chit chat a bit um, Dale Boy says not had any GSP sales for months now still selling plenty of in the UK um, once loved had a notification from GSP saying it was on its way to the buyer long after it was delivered and fee yeah I've had that a few times where it's a bit of a bit of um, some kind of delay on the on the communications Rachel Nash um, who was Cornish Devon Dumpling, am I right? And also, Rachel, I've just seen your picture there. You're um, involved in the in the Matford boot sale, aren't you? Ah, that's you, is it? Uh, now the penny's dropped. So yes, right. Um, Lisa said I got a message from eBay saying it had not arrived yet. But the buyer had given me good feedback and messaged me with a picture of him wearing it. Ah, yeah, I get it. Uh, this buyer bought a cube style radio from me. He's saying he received a plastic bag with nothing in it, but I put it in a cardboard box and left him bad feedback. Oh, that's a bugger, Katie. Hmm. That is a little bugger. I'm sorry to hear that. Can't work out if it's a scam. Mm. Cookie, stop barking. Come on. Oi, mummy's not coming home yet. She's working. Come on. Come and sit in Cookie's bed. Or be quiet then. Cookie's whinging in the corner because mummy's not here. Um, sent one to GSP Spain last week. No problems. Um, is that what possibly happened to, to mine? Uh... Probably not, Chris, because you're UK, so no, it shouldn't be a problem with that. I'm, I'm talking about the eBay um, Global Shipping Centre, which then shippers inter ships internationally. So no, you're UK, Chris. Yours has just been nicked, hasn't it? Uh, I get slow service from GSP, usually a couple of weeks, get a new tracking um, to get the new tracking number. Yeah. Uh, Katie says, is there a way I can contact his local office and ask them to show me what they gave him? Because it seems absurd. I've, I very much doubt that, Katie. Uh, if it's Royal Mail, probably not, unless they uploaded a photograph, which I don't think they do very often. Um, if you'd have sent it every, they do take photos on the doorstep of the parcel, so you'd have seen what the parcel was. Uh, Endless said we sold a lamp in August via GSP after one month the buyer wrote he didn't receive it and finally a few weeks ago the lamp just arrived. Strange, isn't it? Arms has not had any problems. 
Uh, they didn't get a chance to meet up with Jason, but did message for recommendations whilst we were staying in San Francisco at the start of the trip. Oh, nice one. Well, I'm glad you had a good trip. Uh, man up. Uh, no issues with GSP from Brooke. Um, no issues. Yeah, so maybe I don't know what's happened with, with me lately on GSP. I've been very unlucky. Gonna watch the World Cup, yeah. Of course, we'll watch the World Cup. We're we're, we're gonna try some watch alongs, so we're we're gonna call them watch or work along. So if you want to watch the football together, we can, or you can, or you can do some listing and have it on in the background. But yeah, we're gonna start with the Iran game uh, next week and just see what happens. If if no one's interested, then I won't do it. But we'll give it a whirl next week. Glad I didn't see you yesterday, Chris. Keep your germs to yourself. Yeah. I know, yeah, I went to boot sale yesterday. Uh, first time I've ever been, Matford um, boot sale in Exeter. Never, ever been there before, which is really unusual for me. I normally travel around and go to different ones, but never been to that one. And um, Rachel's involved with the organising of that boot sale, so that's good. And we're going to do a haul from it because I forgot I forgot my memory card. My memory card's currently in, in the laptop at the minute because I've been dealing with a lot of editing and stuff, so... The memory card, I forgot to take it with me. So I couldn't do any videoing, which was annoying because I've not done a boot sale video for ages and we need to get one out. Uh, Richard said, no, it's powerful to go. It wasn't uh, automatically upload, uploading track into eBay this morning. Had to manually enter. Oh, that's a pain. Can you scan it? Can you scan your barcodes on parcel to go? I don't know. Um, yeah. Tested for COVID. Uh, I did a test last week, uh, Tonks, but I've not tested today. I don't think it's COVID symptoms, you know. <clears throat> I might do a test tomorrow, maybe. Um, um uh, we'll use every... I mean, don't take my word for it, Katie, because you might get stuff nicked, stolen, whatever from every... But uh, it's one of the good things about every is they do take a photograph on the doorstep. Um, I think you're a bit screwed with that issue, really. I think you're probably going to have to take it on the chin. I would, like Lana said, though, and I said before, you know, check it just in case there's a photo. Um... They do, I don't think they do it very often, but maybe. If there is, it's a bonus. If not, I think you're screwed. No problems with Jason on the old GSP. Come on, Wales. Uh, Peter's looking forward to the World Cup. Only be watching on telly, not going anywhere in regards to England, Wales. Yeah, all the pubs will be rammed. I'm not into that anymore. I used to. I used to go watch the football in the pubs a lot. Well, I can't be asked with it now. Just can't be asked. Hi, cartoon head. Um, Kai says, I've had a £115 return via Royal Mail that shows delivered at 614 At some address in the South Midlands. I'm in Milton Keynes. eBay has now refunded the buyer after notifying them of the issue. Oh. That's not good, is it, Kai? That sounds like a right cock-up. Yeah, scam them not so bad, Richard. At least you didn't have to type them in, because that's a pain, isn't it? Does it say delivered as eBay will side with you if it does? I think I think the issue was not that it... it they weren't disputing that it was delivered. I think that she was saying that... Um, Something it wasn't the right item or something um, that was delivered. So I think it. I think that was that was what they were saying. Couldn't go to my girlfriend's house this weekend because her son had COVID. That was a nice break. <laughs> oh, that's good. My buyer was still wanting a refund after photo and GPS tracked delivered. And a pack link better rule in my favour. Well, eBay will rule in your favour anyway, um, Mrs. Love. So what I would do in that situation, um, I would ask the customer, 
the buyer to open a case on eBay for item not received. I would actually prompt them to open a case because um, eBay will go in your favor because of the photo and the GPS tracking and the delivery confirmation. So it will get closed by eBay anyway. So I would ask them to open a case in that situation. Shabbos said he's looking forward to working as, a, as you watch as I watch England next Monday, not. Yeah, I, w I would possibly ask for a little bit more proof than that, but it's a tricky one. Cookie, what are you doing down there? Are you, are you enjoying me scratching your butt? Are you enjoying that? What are you doing down there? Come and sit in Cookie's bed. Come on. Come on, go and sit in Cookie's bed. I know you're waiting for Mummy, aren't you? Well, Mummy's not here, so you're stuck with Daddy. Um, Chris, that's music. Yeah, they, they definitely should close it. Um, I I always write in the comments. I, I write a little message to eBay, and I say, you know, something like, you know, I write a little letter to them, effectively, like, dear eBay, please note that this parcel has a delivery confirmation. There is a photo um, proof, and it has a GPS location, and normally that's enough um, to uh, close it in your favour. Hi, David. Um, Okay, so at the bottom of that, right, I need to ask a question. Um, Secret Santa, um, anyone having any issues with contacting their Secret Santa? I mentioned it last week on the Lunch Hour Live, just in case. But if any of you are having any problems contacting, exchanging addresses and stuff to send your parcels, Secret Santa, please let me know. Um, you can contact me on Instagram facebook or there is an email address in the description below and you can email me if you want um and because i i can contact most of the people uh who are involved in one way or another so if you're having trouble contact please trouble contacting your secret santa please let me know let's mop it up and get it sorted Yeah, I saw that welcome home video. She definitely does. She she really does. Um, Paula J has popped in there. Uh, Tonk says me and Tam still need to get each other's addresses, but yeah, just just drop each other a message. Lana says, Paula, what's your Instagram? There you go. Oh, good. Oh, good. You all know who you've got. If you don't know who you've got, let me know. I can look on the list right here. I've got it here. So if you if you haven't seen the, the show where we drew it, then let me know. I can check the list right now. Right. What else have we got? All right. Another question for you. I was thinking about doing a little World Cup sweepstake. So basically, um, like a couple of quid to enter. Um, we need 32 people or 16 people who will have two teams. And we draw out of the hat or on the wheel, we'll draw out the, um, the teams um, so that it's completely random. And uh, then we'll split the winnings between like first, second, third, or just first or whatever. Um, let me know. Best thing to do, probably, is to message me on Instagram or one of the other methods that I mentioned before, Facebook, Instagram. And let me know if you do want to get involved in World Cup sweepstakes. I was thinking like two quid a, two quid a team. Um, and winner, what's that? Two quid times 32. That's £64 pot. So I was thinking maybe winner gets 50 or 40 and then second and third or something like that. Um, so if you do want to do that, please send me a message separately and we'll organize it and we'll do the we'll do the draw. If we've got enough people, we'll do the wheel on a lunch hour live later this week. OK, and I'll arrange like you need to send me the two quid on PayPal or something um, and I'll give you a, a, um, a PayPal address and stuff to send it to. So, yeah, let me know. And Alan says 136 watching, 19 likes. Yes, peeps, give us a thumbs up. 
Um, uh, first, the first thirty-two people to message me in somewhere or another, not on here because I can't get back to you. You need to go on Instagram, email the description below, or Facebook Carboot Carboot Chris. Send me a message. You want to be involved? I'll get your entry in, and then we'll draw it. We'll draw the teams on uh, whatever day this week we're going to do a lunch hour live. Hey, does that sound good? Something to do, innit? It makes it interesting. Uh, Shabmeister's just messaged me, so yeah, should be good. It makes it interesting, doesn't it? Hi, Liam. Uh, movie chats, I've just sent you my two pounds. Which one is it, Big Steve or Little Steve? A sweep state is as close as I get to being interested in football. Remember, it's only the first 32 people. We can't do any more than that. Um, and if there's not enough for 32, we'll do 16 and everyone gets two teams. Hi, Monkey Thrifter. Uh, hope you're having a good time um, in... Where is it? Where are you? Barbados. No, Benidorm. Jesus, Barbados. Benidorm, isn't it? sweepstakes you do you mean one team to win and you get drawn and matched with the team no what what we do is we put everyone's name in a hat basically um everyone gets given a team by total random um if the whoever comes first second or third or maybe first second i don't know will decide um you split the pot between you um just a 20 pound uh fee for administrating Administrating the sweepstakes for me. I'm joking. Maybe group loser booby prizes. So if you get Wales, it's not over before it's time. That's not a bad idea. Maybe a booby prize, like for the worst performing team. Um, like the team with the least number of points or something uh, in the group stage. Now, there you go. A few people have messaged. Can I put £50 on USA to win? Wow. Okay, a few people are in, so that sounds good. Belle's at work tonight, Paula. She is uh, working a late shift today. Oh, people are paid already. Jeepers, give us a chance to, uh, to give, give out my payment details. I don't I don't really want like payments to go into a million different places of rise. I'll never keep track of it all. Um especially if you're gonna use PayPal. Don't do don't do it with fees on it. You have to do it with friends and family of rise it's not gonna work. Um but thank you anyway for being quick. So I'll I'll no doubt mop it all up afterwards. Uh let's see now then. Um what else have we got to do? So I've done Secret Santa, I've done World Cup. Um Let's do a boot sale haul. No, she's not been struck down. She's okay. Uh, thanks for asking, though. Right, okay. So I went to boot sale. Um, what day is it today? I don't even know. Monday, uh, Sunday morning. Uh, I went to a boot sale Sunday morning. And um, I was going to film. I took my GoPro. Everything was ready to go. And then I realized that... I hadn't um, taken my memory card. So it was a complete fail on my part. Um, so I thought, well, we just share the haul with you guys tonight. I know we did a haul last week, but people seem to like a good haul, don't they? I heard football and fell asleep. Wales are going to do well. So if you get them, you stand a chance. Not against England, I hope. Um, ideally, I'd, um, I'll, don't worry. If you've messaged me, I'll tell you how to pay, Kathy, because I don't want it going into my business account because that'll mess up my accounts because this isn't a business thing. I want it to go personal. So um, I'll give you my personal account. If you've already sent it, guys, don't worry. I'll sort it out. But um, don't, jump, j don't jump the gun if you can because I don't want it being a business income. It's It's nothing to do with business. So... I prefer not, if possible. Um, but I'll message you after. Don't worry. 
Uh, uh, uh. Right. So, first thing, um, these are really nice, and I put them on Instagram. And this one is in particular. This is a Universal Studios uh, Islands of Adventure Jurassic Park cup. And it's got a real nice figurine on the top. No straw. Most of the time they don't come with straws. Although those have got straws. Um, so I picked up that one. And then I picked these ones up as well. And we did a bit of a bungle deal. So I paid £10 for these. Um, all these sort of cup things. That's a bigger one, actually. That's a bigger one than the others. Um, so, yeah, £10 for those. They're really cool, and I am, I'm just debating what to do, whether to sell them or to keep them, especially this one. That's really nice. Um, got um, to be worth a little bit. Certainly the... Um, Universal one. So that was all right for a tenner. And stick it on the same stall. Um, I bought from this guy before. He has a big collection of really nice collectibles. And um, I picked this up. And it's a Jurassic Park The Lost World. Um, it's like a Filofax. And I'm, I'm, again, I'm debating keeping it. It's got all kinds of facts and things about Jurassic Park. Um, but uh, at the back, it's got the collection of coins, um, which are really nice. I think it's a full set. But I paid a fiver for this, which is nice. I thought that was decent. I didn't, I didn't barter him on these because um, I just thought it was a fair price. So I paid it, and I, I'm thinking, well, I might keep it for myself. So yeah. Lost World. That's nice. 1997. Um, I love picking up stuff like that because I've got a, a real interest in it. I don't know how much this is worth. I paid £3 for it. I've not checked. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII on the PS1. And it's the um, double jewel case thing. Um I don't know. I've not checked the value of any of this yet. I've not had time after being ill yesterday, last night and stuff. So anyone um, anyone know what this is worth? It's actually got a big crack on the front, which I actually didn't see that when I picked it up. But £3, I don't know. Is it worth a tenner or £12 or something? I just picked it up because it's PS1. Um, and you don't see that many PS1s, uh, PS1 games these days. Um, let's see the goods. <laughs> what else? What else we got? They are nice, says Mrs. Love. Seen them on Insta. And the Flintstone cups are nice. Yeah, they are. Yes, thank you, Jack. I, I'm in, but I won't pay you yet. That's good. Comes with a real dinosaur. Um, uh, Have you have you heard Michael Sheen's talk to the Welsh team? Very inspirational. No, I've not heard that. No. Uh, arriving late, guys, as a buyer coming to the house to pick up. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Uh, SB, that's a good reminder, um, Sophie. I'm on um, Sophie's channel on Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Um, so that'll be a fun chat. If you want to come over and join us, go and um, sub to SB. Uh, uh, uh. The Philo is very cool, yeah. No, I didn't do a LAN. I just paid a fiver for it. Uh, yes, yeah, 7 p.m. Wednesday, exactly that. Favourite all-time game? Oh, the Final Fantasy. Seven's the one to look out for, apparently. £10 free post. There you go. Three quid. That's what I paid for it, £3. Probably paid too much for it. 
I've, I very rarely bother looking things up at the boot sale unless it's like a an expensive purchase. Um, I don't really look things up. I just buy them. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII is the one for the PS1. Okay, Blue Harvest says 10 to 20. 15, says David. That's cool. I'll take 15. That'll be all right. Yeah, maybe. I bought a lot of stuff from this guy in the past, a lot of stuff. He's always got nice things, and, um, yeah, I don't mind paying up. I don't mind paying a fair price. Jason, take a look on YouTube, Chris. Would like to hear you do something similar one week for the duck race. What are we talking about here? Um, have I missed something? Jason Milan. Oh, an inspirational talk. Is that what you mean? To the ducks. Yes, I'm on movie chats on Thursday as well. So, car boot Chris overload this week. Um, yeah. We're talking about Tom Hanks on Thursday and uh, Tom Hanks is my favourite actor of all time. So I said, yep, yeah, I'm in for that one. I'll be on there. Um, what else have I got here? Uh, I've got a couple of plushes. There wouldn't be a, a car boot Chris Hall without plushes. I picked up these two Wimbledon plush. This one's still got tagged. Actually, this is this was £18 originally. Jeepers. You're paying £18 for that. I don't know what year it is. I don't know the year as yet. Um, these were one fifty each, £3 for the pair. So I don't know whether I'm going to keep them together or sell them separate. But uh, Wimbledon stuff normally does pretty well. It's probably not the right time of year, but I'll just bang them on anyway. Somebody might get them for Christmas or something. So three quid, three quid for the pair. Oh, now I picked up one of these. You remember... Um, Steve-O, he's not in the chat, is he? Steve-O um, bought this off me. It's a um, bop it. Bop it to start. Blasting. High score 77. Ooh, someone did 77. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Your circuits must be malfunctioning. Score two. Oh, I got two. Um... Yeah, this is quite neat. Uh, Steve-O bought one off me. I've never oh, seen one start. before. Um, and then I saw another one, and it was a pound, so definitely buying that. Can I just switch off for a while? Yes, please. Uh, what do you think about this? Future Duck Race prize? It's uh, Donald Trump, isn't it? So I paid a pound for that. And she was like, oh, it's a pound. I'm like, bloody hell. A pound for a, a, a little duck? So yeah, I still bought it. I just thought it was it was neat for a pound. You know what? No expense spared for my viewers. That'll be appearing in a future in a future prize pool. I've got to be careful with this because it don't shut up. Uh, it's Wreck It Ralph, obviously, um, and he makes noises and stuff. And this was two pound. So I always like picking up Wreck It Ralph. I never really have a problem selling it, um, but this one's very noisy. That's not going to show up now. That's a gremlin. Stay away, it's a gremlin. No way. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, almost bought a wicker chair thing at the charity shop today, uh, thanks to M's Den. Didn't in the end. It's no price tag. Um, Castlevania on the Mega Drive for £1 at the boot sale. Oh, nice. Castlevania's good, isn't it? It's a good one. Three sales while Chris has been live. Only had one sale when Nick was live. Well, there's your answer. I've got Dino Crisis, but people keep asking for a perfect disc. Looks okay to me. Anyone else from Northern Ireland? Uh, Jason asks. Uh uh, Tom says, I almost bought Final Fantasy VII the other day from a boot sale, but one of the discs was missing from the case. Oh, could you have maybe sourced that extra disc? Would it have been worth it? Because I'm not sure what Final Fantasy VII is worth, but would it have been worth looking for just the disc on eBay and, um, you know, putting it in? 
We love the Wimbledon Bears. Peter Ray says Wimbledon's overpriced, I can imagine. Um, Sun would love the Bop It. Never seen that before. Um, send me a message, Mrs. Love, if you're interested. I'll do the same deal as I did for Steve-O. What Star Wars? No idea. Never heard of it. Making duck races great again. The Boppet's cool. Never seen one before. Movie chances once the R2, um, R2-D2. There's one. Of, yeah, there is. You know what, Rachel? I think that's why I picked it up. Because it reminded me of one in the race itself. It would be just our luck to win the race when the Trump duck is the prize. Ah, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, we love a bit of Wreck-It Ralph. Sold loads of the Chewbacca Boppet this year. I've not, I've not seen a Chewbacca Boppet. Where's Ralph from? Wreck-It Ralph, the uh, film. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. I know nothing. Uh, David said I had a great car boot haul yesterday. Highlight was a 31-inch Hulk Hogan. Oh, that sounds good. 31 inches. I mean, that's like that's like as big as. Won't go there. Uh, we've got a Brentford shirt for sale. <laughs> well done to Brentford. Bloody hell, they played well, didn't they, on Saturday? We were shite. Um, probably worth getting Final Fantasy VII if the case is in good nick. You could sell it separate, Lisa said. Can you imagine if the Donald uh, Trump wins the duck race tonight? Could do. You never know. 143 people in the chat, though. Welcome, everybody. If you've not said hello, say hello. If you're lurking or you're new to the channel, please uh, come and say hello. I uh, got £61 for Extreme 2 Bop It on it. It's £61 for an Extreme 2. That's crazy. R2 D2 Bop It seems to be averaging about £8. What did I sell? Uh, I can't remember. Was it a tenner? I think I sold it for a tenner to Steve. I think he got ripped off. Sorry, Steve. Um, some people pay stupid money for the case. Uh, see what you buy. Hello, welcome. Okay, what else we got here? Uh, got a, a a racing jacket thing. It's a Virgin Media Yamaha jacket. Pretty nice. There you go. Um, these always do well, don't they? I only paid a fiver for this, which is quite nice. It is a small size, though, so uh, that's a bit annoying. But for £5, I'm not leaving it for £5. I would think that's going to be worth a decent amount. What else do I have? Uh, camera. Oh, two cameras. I paid £1 each for these. Just bought them on a whim. I thought for £1, this is a Casio. A bit unusual. Don't worry about that shit on there. I can wipe that off. Um, I thought it was a bit unusual. Look at this thing. I can't even figure out where the bloody memory card goes. Uh, it goes like this. Turns. Couldn't even see where the memory card slot is. Which is a bit weird. So I've not tested them yet, but... Different. The Casio QV100C. One pound. It's worth a go, isn't it? It's worth a try. Um, it was off a regular who um, watches the channel and stuff. So let's give him a bit of support. Um, and then I picked up this um, Canon. It's a Canon PowerShot S1IS 3.2 megapixel. Um Thankfully, it's got that on there. Not tested it. It's probably not got batteries in it. But it looks in nice condition. It's got a little fold-out screen there. That's £1. So it's got to be worth 
It's got to be worth a pound each, hasn't it? Surely. Oh. What, why are you staring at me? I can't make it come home any quicker, can I? I can't. No. She's staring at me. You might even... Can you see her head there? She's literally eyeballing me. She's like, Daddy, where is Mummy? We need money. Um... Let's see where the chat's up to. I've got one more thing to share. Yeah, thank you, Rachel. Don't forget, thumbs up, everybody. Uh, what do you call a duck that farts? A, a dobal duck trump. Have I read that wrong? Dobal duck trump. You've lost me on that one, Jason. I think it's been lost in translation. Um, uh, Ed Ventures, uh, I have a question on listings. I notice if bulk edit auctions, you're able to automatically reduce the listing prices every time it reposts. Have you played with this? Yeah, I've seen that before, Ed Ventures, uh, but I don't do a lot of auctions myself. But you can... Um, put in like a thing into the auction um, so that when it relists, it, it reduces in price. But um, you don't see it all the time. So I'm wondering if it's like personal accounts more than more than business accounts. But I don't do a lot of auctions. So maybe some people in the chat might be able to answer your question, Ed, because uh, they do more auctions than me. A few bargains, yeah. Shit on the camera. I wonder why they were taking pictures of. Jez says, anyone use Packlink? The tracking has not been updated on eBay for the items I sent out today. Never noticed that happening before. Sales still shit. Yeah, you're going to have to do it manually, Jez. It it does happen sometimes, apparently. I think, was did Richard say it was happening before? Um, I'm sure Richard says said that it happened to him. So you, you're going to have to edit them manu manually and dispatch them. Casio's uh, aren't exactly famous for cameras. Could be rare. I hope so. Probably not. Always lurking adventures, but listening avidly. That's good. Um, thank you for joining us. I did go and have a look at your channel. I am subscribed. So, uh, yeah. Katie says, what's the best way to contact eBay for advice? Because I would like to get the neg feedback at least looked at. Um, in regards to feedback, I would use um, the eBay for Business Facebook page. They seem to be the best for removing feedback, so I would use that. It was Donald, but my fat fingers. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, pictures are now 24 on a listing. Um, albeit, mine said 24 the other day, and then when I got to number 12, it said you're full up which is a bit weird. Don't know why it did that, but um, yeah, I think I think most people have got 24 now. Contact, e yeah, Facebook, the Facebook page is the best way. Um, they seem to really actively remove bad feedbacks for you. Dalboy Dan said he found a weird Pentax camera binocular camera with LCD screen tested it works but didn't think it was any good got 85 quid on eBay nice see that's why I pick up stuff like that because for a quid and that's a Canon I mean a Canon for a pound and an unusual looking Casio for a pound it's worth you know just trying it but don't bother looking things up for a pound you're wasting your time just you know just buy it just buy it learn and, um, yeah, take a chance sometimes. I've noticed the auto reduction of prices only appears if you if you move buy it now to auction in bulk and then the option is there. Ah, oh, maybe a workaround. Could be, yeah. I've seen it a few times, Ed, but um, not recently, to be fair. Sold my first handicam the other week. That went well. Uh, 24, yeah. 
fix it said 12 is a new 24 oh ed sent a super chat thank you ed running a little low on funds but buy yourself half a starbucks coffee oh no you get a whole starbucks uh round here for that but i don't drink coffee so I'll, I'll have to have a i'll have a tea or a hot chocolate if that's okay ed but thank you so much that's very kind of you um anyone use a video feature on ebay and have you had decent results yeah um I don't use it often. I just wish that they would put the video feature, make it accessible on mobile, on the app, so that you can do your video the same way as you take photos. Because that I would do it a lot more if they did that. Um, it's just a bit annoying that you've got to upload it to your computer and then do all that crap. So I couldn't be bothered. Um, but every time I've put a video on a listing, the item has sold. I mean, it could be coincidence. And normally I put videos on um when it's like a decent looking item you know adventures there's his uh, youtube channel hot chocolate sounds good right now it does actually yeah albeit i don't know if i could stomach hot chocolate i'm still i'm still on this stuff oh i've got one more thing to share that i picked up and i bought six of these big steve will be into this big steve will be into this I bought six of these things. They are Alien Resurrection Newborn. I think it's, I mean, it looks like a pregnant alien. You just have a look on there. It's got like a little red belly. Um, the Alien and Predator figurine collection. It's a hundred. It's 18 centimetres tall. And uh, these are brand new boxed. And I bought six. I bought all of them that he had. He had six and I paid £30. So I paid £5 each. Now, why don't you look online? Probably paid too much for them. Um, I, you know, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to list them for, but I don't think if I could do it again, I don't think it's probably worth paying £5 each for them. But I think with Christmas coming, I'm sure I'm going to make a small profit on those. I did buy six of them, though. Uh, I bet Big Steve's gone, hasn't he? Has he gone to bed? Uh, fix it says um, I use a video feature when I sell hi-fi equipment. Good idea, yeah. Anything electrical, if you can show it working, is a bonus, isn't it? Oh, my voice is going. I'm literally going. Not to the toilet though. You'll be pleased to know. Uh, started using video; it helps and also proves it was working ex exactly, Mrs. Love. Yeah. Um. If that was your newborn, it would be sent right back. Yes. Well past Steve's bedtime. What time is it? I don't even know. It's nine o'clock. He pretty much goes to bed nine o'clock on the dot, doesn't he? He's probably brushing his teeth and having a wash right now. Before bed, you know, getting ready. Uh, the first two aliens. Yeah, the first two aliens are, are miles the best. I'd, I'd say alien aliens, I reckon, aliens. Which is the second one. It's probably the best one. Etsy buyers love videos. Oh, that's interesting, RJs. I've sold two Etsy items today. Two items on Etsy. About £50 worth. That's not bad, is it? Um, I cross-listed a load of um, stuff uh, at the weekend. And it's it's paid off. Endless Treasure said we started to upload videos. Especially for electronics. And I think as of result because they sell faster and more proof for working order yeah uh david said used it to sell a puppet the other week took a few takes due to the missus laughing at my pup oh you did a voice david <laughs> you did a voice with it uh hi glamours welcome good to see you not seen you for a little while glamours hope you're okay um having a wash thought that was gonna <gasps> Mrs. Love, Naughty. Uh, Aliens is the best one. Yeah, I think. Well done on the sales. Yeah, two on uh, Etsy today, which is good because eBay has been a little bit quiet. Although eBay has been pretty good uh, to me for the last five, six days. It's been a very good week for me on eBay. Um, don't know particularly why, but seems to me people have started buying for Christmas. What tool do you use for Etsy, eBay, cross-listing? Zip sale, Ed. 
Um, if you want to check it out, there is a link in the description below. And uh, if you want to try it, there's a free, there's a like a free period that you can sign up to uh, just to test it out. But I use Zipsell and I did about, how many did I put? About 33 items across onto Etsy with Zipsell. Made it a lot easier, a lot quicker. 140 watch. Yes, exactly. 140 now, Alan. Thank you for the nudge. Aliens, the scene at the end with Ripley in the loading suit. Yeah, that's a classic scene, isn't it? It's the hybrid alien from Alien Resurrection. There you go. Big Steve is still alive. Have you had, have you, have you had a wash, Steve? Have you had a stand-up wash? Have you washed your uh, pits and etc. And had a, uh, done your teeth cleaning business? Um, there you go, Steve. Uh, jack of all trades I never ever see videos on eBay at all I look up a lot of stuff can you view eBay videos I think so uh, jack of all trades but actually you know what I don't know actually I don't know the answer to that uh, I did use Ipsell but stopped when I wanted to end eBay sales and sell some and I found it a pain ah fair enough yeah, it's not for everybody. Um, it's useful in different things. Predator, massive fan. There you go. You should get on with Big Steve, you. Get on to movie chats. Big Steve's Predator and Alien. I think that's I think that's pretty much everything that I picked up. You know, it wasn't a massive haul, so uh, maybe a video would have been a bit... Um... Yes, you can view on the app, says the tap peddler, Derek. There you go. Time for duck race. Yes, I think it is, Santa. Let me just make sure I've covered everything else that I wanted to talk about. I think I have. Um, let me um, let me do some sorting out. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bell has put a comment. Uh, on on last week's video and said if there are no rules she wants to be in the duck race I hope she wins oh no actually I'm not, I'm not sending it this week Brooke's sending it oh uh, let's just put Belle in the race she should you should be working dear uh, Maureen McCann is in I've just got to add a few people here uh uh Del boy Dan, are you in twice? Are you trying to cheat me? No cheating. No, I take it back. Del boy uh, Dan is in. Jason Mylan. Sheriff. I'm just going to put the sheriff. Is that all right? Uh, it'll be quicker. Once loved. Once loved. I'm just writing very quickly. I'm not doing this again, by the way. This is a one-off special special thing because I'm not bothered about the rules so much today. Lana's in as well. You see, movie chats were moaning that we were bending the rules and Lana's taken advantage, advantage of it. So, you know what? Can't be bad. Uh, Blue Harvest is in. Blue Harvest. And Lisa as well. And that's everyone. That takes it to 65. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Let's see where you're all up to. Um, rarely used. Possibly. I don't think it's used that, that much, really, at the minute. I think what the I think for it to be used much more than what it is currently, I do think they need to add the ability to do the video on the app on the mobile, just like you might take a photograph. I can do a quick video. That would that would cut out a lot of messing about. Um, dropping off, Kathy's. We're obviously entertaining Kathy. She's dropping off. Um, no bell tonight means Chris can stay up late. 
Just a moment while Chris finishes some last minute ciphering for the duck race. She always seems to get time to message when she's not with you. Yeah, she does. She does. Can I get in the race? What you have to do, Ed, is you have to go comment on last week's show. Um, so when tonight's show's finished, if you come back and comment on the show, uh, you'll be entered into next week's duck race. Event Horizon, that is a classic. Scary as well, some jumps in that, isn't there? Uh, movie Chats is off now. The odds have gone down for a win. Yeah, don't listen to Steve. There you go. Uh, no, one entry only. One entry only. Sorry about that. Uh, bless you. Yeah, thank you. Bang Bang Duck's in. Uh, if Lana wins, I want a VAR. Chris, if there are no rules, put me in three times. Oh, Glamour's, thank you so much. $10 from Glamour's. Got to jump off here and go exercise, but I hope you have a fantastic week and great sales. Oh, that's very kind of you, Glamour's. Thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, maybe I could put that along with uh, Adventures um, Super Chat, and um, I'm, I might be able to treat Bell to something. Uh, right, just before we do the duck race, 136 of you in, um, I just want to say thank you to um, all the channel um, channel members. I can't find the, the picture. There we go. We have to do this. Um, thank you to Tori. I know Tori can't be with us tonight. She did send me a message. Um, Tori, Ems Den, Sam, uh, Mick Page, Lindsay and Alvin, the Monkey Thrift, the Fix It for Reselling, the Dave, Soul Steps, Santa, Steve-O, Brooke, Matt Sell Stuff, Glamours. Oh, Glamours just gone as well. Um, Paul Dorbney, GT Prelove, Cy, Kieran and Chris Smith. Thank you all so much for joining our little membership scheme. Um, if any of you guys are interested in joining, um, there is a link below the video and uh, it tells you what to do and what little benefits and stuff you get. Uh, so thank you all so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, A long time ago, a guy I know... Oh, Santa, have you been cheating? Right. You are in the naughty list. So you can't deliver your own present this year. Um, you should put Super Chats directly into the race. Priority entry could... You know what, Ed? I love that idea. Yeah, if you send a Super Chat, you get in here. You get into the race. Um... <laughs> That is a good idea. I love that. I, I think that the chat might be a bit upset about that, Ed, but it's a, it's it's the sentiments there. Okay, let's do the let's do it. Cookies. You're right, baby. You're right. Okay, let's do the duck race. Ed, make sure you go and comment on the video after tonight's show and you'll be in the race next week. I don't know what next week's prize is yet. I'm not decided. Um Testing one, two, three. One, two, three. Are we ready for the duck race? Roll up, roll up. Um, hang on a second. Right. Good luck, duck races, says Brooke. It wasn't me, Santa. My ass. My ass, it wasn't you. I've got your number. Uh, I'm going to be watching you, Santa. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a bathtub viewing. Nice one, Ed. I love it. Love it. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let me get this ready. Two minutes on the race timer. Sixty-five ducks. Set that there. I'll share the screen in a second. Don't worry. I haven't forgot. Uh, I'm doing this on my own, guys. You've got to bear with me. Uh, present. Share the screen. Here we go. Share the screen. There it is. There it is. Right. Are we ready for the duck race? Brooke has provided the prize. Thank you so much, Brooke. And they're off.
off. The duck race has begun with Lana taking an early lead there. Um, Once Love Treasures in second place and Limelight Vinci. Now, Limelight Vinci's got a distinct advantage there. He's got a massive beat. Um, no pun intended. But if he ends up winning with that big beak, you know what? I'm not sure that's fair. Cookie's just sat in the Ikea bag. Um, Kimmy Kitty is now leading. MZN in second place with Shabba. Very, very close in third place, I think. Bills and Moon with the Vampire Ducky in fourth. And um, the pack is very, very well spread out tonight. Mike Calpin is coming up with a strawberry on his head. That's random, isn't it? Uh, Alvin is um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, very up. Kitan is currently leading, not seeing Kitan in the chat tonight. Kitan, are you there? Give us a shout, Kitan. We've not heard you in the chat, I don't think. Um, Thomas Evans, the B-Duck, is closing in on Alvin, but Alvin is staying strong up front. Uh, Cherry Jane is there, we've got Phil, we've got Maureen McCann, is, oh, came up and gone back down again. David Rowe. John Pearson is now close up front, but Alvin is staying strong at the front. No, he's not. Alvin's gone. He's done. Uh, Two-legged reseller with the Spider-Man duck. I don't, I don't remember seeing a Spider-Man one before. Bell's Crest Corner. We've got Armsy is now in the lead with 25 seconds on the clock. The tap peddler Derek could win this. Bell's Crest Corner second. John Pearson. Oh, it's now John's leading. Uh, who's this who's taking an early lead here? Um, towards the end, AMPR, with 10 seconds to go, this is a dead cert, AMPR, he's a naked duck as well, he's won it, and this is it, this is, oh, AMPR has dropped back, and he's gone right to the back of the pack, Superman coming up on the top, Mrs. Love, Superman has flown up at the top of the page, and the page, top of the river, whatever it is, stream, and has won the duck race. Mrs. Love wins the duck race. I could have sworn AMPR was going to win that one. Oh, my God. I can't speak anymore. I'm done. Let's just take that off there. Mrs. Love wins. And Peter Ray didn't even see you anywhere in that pack. But you were there somewhere at the back. Um... Cherry's a rainbow unicorn. Uh, my money's on Santa. Who even has nine accounts? Yes, Jeff. Yes. I've got your number. Um, let's see what else we've got. Well done to Mrs. Love. Uh, thanks, Ems Dan. Appreciate a steward inquiry. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Love is the winner. So, Mrs. Love, you... You need to um, send me a message on Instagram or Facebook um, with uh, your details, your address and that. And then, with your permission, I'll send that on to Brooke, who will send your prize. Congrats to Mrs. Love, says Mike. Oh, Peter did see his duck. Brooke was close to winning her own her own prize. Uh, so close, Kimmy Kitty. I spent most of the time off screen, just like one of my videos. Um, so there you go. That was the duck race for tonight. Well done to Mrs. Love. Um, big fluffy duck coming your way. I'm not sure um, what the next prize is going to be, but I'll put it on YouTube. And don't forget, if you want to enter the duck race for next week, once we've finished this stream tonight, come back, make a comment on the uh, on the uh, video uh, about five minutes after the stream ends, and you will automatically be entered into next week's race. Um, what have we got coming up on the channel? Right, this week we I am going to be on Sophie's channel, SB Reselling, on Wednesday night at 7 p.m., um, and then Thursday night, I'm going to be on the Movie Charts channel because we're talking about Tom Hanks. Um, we've got a charity shop haul coming this week. Charity shop haul. Would you believe it? Um, I thought char charity shops were dead, but obviously not. Look out for that haul coming up. Um, and also, um, the thrifting in the US continues at the weekend with another video out. Um, 
so yeah, that's what is in store for the channel this week. Also, we're gonna we're gonna attempt to do. In fact, next Monday. What day is it today? Next Monday is the England game, isn't it? So next Monday, potentially, there's two lives going on. We're gonna try and do a work a work along watch along um, for the England Iran game, and then we'll have our Monday night show at eight pm. Now, oh, there's there's Kitan. Um, I'm in and out of the show, recovering from a four-day trip to Ireland with no sleep. Oh, well, I hope you had a, a decent time. Let me turn the ducky off. Shut up. Um, okay. So we need not to forget because Belle will not be happy if I forget this segment. Sharing is caring. Share the love. Okay, so if you want to share your channel, your channel, your Instagram, your Facebook, your eBay store, whatever you want to share, you've got five minutes and um, put your links in the chat or put your usernames or your channel names in there if you're not an admin and people will find you, hopefully. Um, uh, Lindsay and Alvin said, please subscribe to the lovely Paula Marie Emsden UK. There you go. There's a link there. Or if that's not a clickable link, then just search for Emsden UK on uh, on YouTube on the search bar. Uh, Tam and Bell, go and sub to Tam and Bell. Says Emsden. Lindsay and Alvin, have you got have you got some content out yet? Are you working on some videos? I know you said you were. Uh, let us know where you're up to. I know you said you were going to do some stuff. Oh, oh, and also I forgot to mention we'll do a we'll do a lunch hour live this week as well. So plenty of stuff going on. Plenty of stuff. Make sure you subscribe. You don't miss anything. Uh, subscribe to the Tap Peddler as well. Uh, there's uh, Derek's uh, channel. Bell's Craft Corner. Uh, Brooke says, show MZN UK the love, amazing outtakes. Yeah, lots of outtakes from from the guys, uh, the PM of reselling. Any more links to go in? You're not sharing many links. Now's your chance. Something to watch while the footy is on. Yes, yes, hopefully. Should be good. I'm not sure I'm going to set it up yet. I'm not sure I'm going to do it. I'm going to sit downstairs and move my laptop and camera or do it up here somehow. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'll I'll do some testing. Um, check out uh, James and Sarah at Tonks Boutique. Oops, a daisy. Press the wrong button there. Uh, Lindsay and Alvin said we're hopefully uploading our first video maybe this week if anyone wants to subscribe. There you go. Brand new to YouTube, Lindsay and Alvin. You heard it here first. Go sub if you want. See what comes out. Hopefully it'll be. I'm sure it'll be good. It's good to see, actually, when new YouTubers do stuff. It's good to see how they, uh, you know, what angle they take on the videos and stuff. You know, I, I like to see new ones. Good luck with it anyway. Uh, Alan says 101 watching, 53 likes. If you've not hit the like button, hit it on your way out. Uh, no one shares. Oh, Tommy Lee. No one shares Tommy Lee's channel. Uh, but there you go. There's his channel. Uh, you can also look for Cherry Jane Joyce. Cherry's got her own channel as well. Oh, interesting fact from Santa. No one has won this race three times yet, but the number three duck has. Santa, did you go back and watch all the duck races and compile all this information? It's good to know, though. Go and sub to Night's Life. Um... Belle says she's only nine from 200 subs. Uh, check out Cherry's channel there, Cherry Jane. Katie said, I'm going to start a YouTube channel in the new year, so I'm learning a lot from you guys. That's good. Movie chats as well. There's Cherry. She's up. Up and about. Uh, 
Phil says, I will be working in Penketh Tesco Express this week. Pop in and say hello. There you go. Anyone near Penketh Tesco Express? I don't know where that is. Um, thanks uh, for your encouragement. No problem. No worries. Uh, Santa went back and watched every race. Got to have accurate stats. Oh, that must have been like watching paint dry, Santa. When you get to like duck race number 15, you're absolutely sick to death of them. But thank you for doing it. Thank you so much. Um, show everyone that coin. Oh, um, on the thing. Santa's made a coin. Uh, if I can find it. Sorry, my phone's going off. Is it that one? There you go. It's got the Cookie and the Haydens logo on it. You, you might not be able to see. But it's very cool. I like what he's done with that. We'll have to have a discussion, Sam, to see what we're going to do with that. We've got to do something, haven't we? Near Warrington, there you go. Nespresso, hi. Okay, well, we're pretty much done. Um, don't forget, message me on Instagram, Facebook, or email if you have any trouble with your Secret Santa, making contact with them, or if you want to take part in the World Cup um, sweepstakes. I think it's going to be £2 um, a team, and we'll draw we'll draw the teams out this week. So make it a little bit more interesting for while the World Cup is on. Um, only the first 32 people to message me are going to be involved because there's 32 teams in the World Cup. So it's one each. Um, so, yeah, the first 32 people. And now I'll, I'll reply to you and let you know how to pay you £2 and stuff. And I think we're done. Uh, we're going to put it on the virtual duck race trophy somehow. Oh, OK, yeah. No, that sounds good, Santa. Thank you for doing it. Oh, and I'm just going to go off and die in the corner somewhere. I'm done. I'm done in. I need sleep. Chris, can you WhatsApp me payment details? Yes, I will do. No problem, Tonks. No problem. Uh, fix it said I sent you a message on Insta ages ago, so I better be in the sweepstake. Okay, no problem. First come, first serve. I'll go in order. Oh, thank you, Joan. That's very, that's very kind. Uh, I'm sure I'll be all right tomorrow or the day after. I think you need a tall glass of scotch. Oh, I couldn't drink that, Santa. No way. No, I'm not into that. Uh. <coughs> Our team's assigned randomly. I was... Yeah, it's the only fair way to do it, Jack. We'll put all the teams on the wheel and we'll pick we'll pick names for each team. But what someone suggested earlier was maybe we have a booby prize. So the team that does the worst in the World Cup, so probably whoever's like got the least number of points, least number of goals in the group stage, um, maybe they get a bit of a prize as well, so that if you get a terrible team, you've still got a chance of doing something. So, yeah, hopefully um, we'll do that. But it's got to be random. We can't we can't do it any other way, can we? Send me a message, you want to be in it. All right, I'm done. I am, I am absolutely done. Where's my outro? Is Belle still watching? She's not said hello in the chat to you all, has she? She's bloody ignorant. She's bloody ignorant. Um, a, Dawlish, a Dawlish customer bought something off me during your life. Can't be a coincidence. Yeah, Dawlish is not far from here. Nice up in Dawlish. Nice car boot there. Go to bed, sweat it out of you. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get in bed. 
Um, so that's it, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, hit the thumbs up on your way out. Come back and comment in five minutes for next week's duck race. Take care. See you soon. Later. <laughs>